Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be cracking on with the Lambretta trailer. I've done a bit already, I've started a bit, but I'll just go through what we're gonna do. I've got the dog with me today. She's just chilling out in the studio. What we've got to do today, guys, is I've done this side, thousand grit, sanded this side down. And basically what you're doing that for is, because we're going to go and put some base coat and artwork on this, we've got to get rid of this shiny surface to give it a good key. So then we can start putting our paints that I want to put on, on top of this. So that's one side done. I've got some J-tape, which I'm going to use, and we're going to fine line this out and mask off this side, because that's the piece here. That's where I'm working on. It's going to be this piece where the artwork's going to go. So we've got to do the same, same to this side. So I'll stick you on a time lapse for this. Just going to sand this out, thousand disc it back, and then we can fine line this off, and then I can mask off all this, and then I can start putting the base coats down. It's going to be a white base coat on this. It's going to take the artwork off a white base coat, but I want to just go very lightly on the base because I want to use some of this colour as a bit of background as well because one of the pictures is, is very dark on the background so I just want to drop the white where I need it. So I'll see you in a bit, I'll stick you on the time lapse and yeah, we'll crack on. See you in a bit guys. That's that bit completely see me in the time lapse just went in and I wet sanded with a thousand disc all on the area that we needed to work off of so that's done there are a few imperfections in this once you've took that gloss off you can see the little bits when you work around there's a couple of pin holes in it but this is the main area that I've been told to do so this is what we're doing I'm not doing any repairs on any other little bit. Uh, they're very minor. So that's the other side. So these two sides are good to go guys. The next stage we're gonna do is, we're gonna use a bit of fine line and I'll bring the camera in. What we've gotta do is we've gotta fine line off that silver line there. Put some fine line around that and then mask off all this all the way over and mask the whole of this center out. So we've just got these two dark gray centers showing. These are, these holes here, there's a aluminium case that comes in. It's a light cluster that's fitted on here. So I've got all this room here to work with for the artwork. And I can't work here. We've got to go on the flat, so it's about there. So it'll be all that piece, both sides. So yeah, I'll stick you on another time lapse again, because if I do this normal time, this video is gonna be like 30 to 40 minutes long. So I'm gonna try and get as much done in this as I can. We're gonna use the J-Tape. This is the three mil and it's the flexible one. So I'll stick you on a time lapse and we'll just get these two fine lined up and get the rest of it masked off. See you in a bit guys.
that's the fine line done guys I caught that in the time lapse so just a bit of green fine line on that silver band between the two darks and now what we're going to do is inch mask intake and then mask off that fine line going that way You just hear me say mask off the fine line that way, but I'm just going to go around. You see, it's on top of that. We'll go and move with the scalpel next and just scalpel them bits off. Switch it up to two inch. A bit easier. Just grab a scalpel. run a scalpel blade, sit it lightly on top of the masking and just aim for the fine line, don't press down too hard, just aim to go through one there. that bit done and now we can mask from that over I'll move you around this side and then just the same again we'll go around two inch tape it's quicker
time lapses, time lapses take away all this. We're doing it normal time. Just actually, you see what's going on. Right, so that's done guys. That's that bit masked off. What we'll do next, we'll run some paper now. And we'll just paper all that edge that we don't want to get any overspray on. And then we've got these two areas now we can work on once that's done. So I'll stick you on a time lapse for the papering up. No thing. give you a little run through again of what we've done this panel came into me and it was already painted so if you've got a painted panel that's coming into you and it's your first panel you're going to put some artwork on I went in with a thousand grit disc and thousand grit wet sanded this just to key the surface up this is if you're going off clear coat if you're going off a base coat I'd scotch bright it if you're going off a clear coat, you can either scotch bright or you can thousand grit disc over this on a wet flat, that's fine. So we've done that and then I cleaned it all up, wax and grease remover, cleaned all the dust off and gave it a good clean. And then I went in with the J tape, which is a 3mm green flexible one. The green's better for going around bends with tight corners, it's a bit more flexible in the green. So we put the 3mm fine line round on the bit that I need to line off. And then we went in with the two inch masking, masked off the fine line that way. And whatever was left on this side, if you push your finger nice and tight against that, you can see the fine line through the masking. So you're just very, very lightly going with a scalpel on top of the fine line and just run it along the fine line. And you can just pick off the excess bits of the masking tape that was on this side that we didn't need it on this side. So that's all done, both sides are the same. That's it in today's video guys. I wanted to get to this stage, talk you through this, give you a little bit of time lapse. The next stage, which will be part three, we'll be moving on to dropping the base coat down. I'll show you that, show you what good I'm gonna use for that, and the base coats we're gonna use. And then we'll be moving on to the artwork stages and I can start, start showing you how I'm going to get the artwork across and what images I'm going to use. So thanks for watching guys and I shall see you in, this is part two, I'll see you in part three. Thanks again, see you soon.